What is up guys, it's your boy Solam here, back with another Wrath of the Lich King classic video. In today's video, we are getting straight to the point. I am making 100,000 gold per month in Wrath, and I want to show you how so you can replicate it. So I've been focusing a lot on Hardcore Classic WoW recently, and in fact I will focus a lot on Hardcore Classic WoW for a little bit more as the official Hardcore series are just about to come out, but I wanted to make sure I make this video before that so I can steer you guys in the right direction for making gold in Wrath as well as keeping you in the loop of my own gold making progress. So far in Wrath, I have increased my gold portfolio from about 100k gold to 1.5 million gold, counting the raw gold I have on my character as well because the TSM ledger only really counts the value of items, so it's closer to 1.7 million gold, so let's just say that so far in Wrath, I have made 1.5 million gold. And at the moment, or at the time of making this video, I am making close to 100k gold per month. That being said, the exact amount varies and is going downhill a little bit, as the phase 3 hype is going down but should go up again when phase 4 comes out. So let's talk about how I make my gold. First off, we have mining, more specifically, titan steel bars. Titan Steel Bars has been working wonders for me so far this expansion, and I set up 5 characters during the first 2 weeks of Wrath that has been making Titan Steel Bars pretty much every single day since then. Every Titan Steel Bar has given me about 100 gold profit, quite a lot more towards the early stages of Wrath itself, but the profit has gone down a lot over time and is stabilizing around 100 gold. I don't think it's actually worth investing into setting up mining characters right now, especially since it's speculated that the cooldown for crafting Titan Steel might get removed in Phase 4, or at the very latest, Phase 5, as it was originally removed in an in-between patch between those two content patches back in the day. Either way, with 5 characters, that means I'm making 500 gold every single day through those Titan Steel crafts, giving me about 15k gold per month. Number 2 is Alchemy, more specifically, Epic Gem Transmutes. Epic Gem Transmutes really are a hidden gold mine, or a hidden gem should we say, and it's such an overpowered gold making strategy that simply compounds upon itself and gets stronger the more alchemists you have. Recently, I finished setting up my 10th alchemist for transmute, and let's just go through some maths here. Every epic gem transmute gives me about 200 gold profit every single day. The actual profit varies, sometimes the prices go up, sometimes they go down, they tend to go up on Wednesdays as people raid and obtain new gear, and they will probably go up in phase 4 when people get new gear again from I doing Ice Crown Citadel. Also, you can sometimes proc additional gems or epic gems through being a transmute master, which I do highly recommend you getting for this gold making method. You can also increase the profit significantly by actually getting a jewel crafter skilled up and cutting the gems into actual high demand gems, like for example I have been selling haste gems and making about 300 gold profit per gem, 200 gold from the transmute and 100 gold from the cut. But to keep it incredibly simple, 200 gold profit per day per alchemist from transmute. 200 gold multiplied by 30 days gives you 6,000 gold per month per alchemist. Since I have 10 alchemists, this gives me 60,000 gold per month just for logging in once every single day, which takes me about 20 seconds per character. Now, you might not have 10 characters like me, but I'm talking about this to showcase my personal gold making strategies in Wrath, as well as simply show you how powerful alchemy really is. And the kicker is, you, your alts, they don't even have to be level 80. If you have a level 65 alt, you can skill up alchemy and start raking in profits. And it's also incredibly cheap to set up. After setting up 10 alchemists myself, the average I've spent for skilling it up from 1 to 450 is 2000 gold, and I usually get about half of that gold back once I sell all the consumables that I make while skilling up alchemy, so it actually only ended up costing me about 1000 gold per character. Referring, uh, referencing that back to the 200 gold daily profit, you break even after only about 5 days, and then start raking in profits. Okay, now let's get into the fun thing here. 
If an alchemist makes 200 gold profit per day, or 6000 gold profit per month, and I think we can safely assume there's about one year left of wrath, give or take, before we move into cataclysm, if you multiply 6000 gold by 12 months, that is 72000 gold. 72,000 gold per alchemist from a 1,000 gold investment, I would say that's pretty damn worth it. And in my case, I am making 60,000 gold per month from my alchemist alone, so if wrath lasts for another year and the profits stay the same, that will end up making me 720,000 gold. And you know what? I guess while we're on the topic of professions, I simply have to talk about enchanting. And I know I am very late to the party here, a lot of people have been making thousands of gold with enchanting since the beginning of Wrath, and when phase 4, the phase 3 I mean, launched, I finally mustered up the courage to max out my own enchanting and spend some gold on dream shards so I can purchase some big boy recipes, and it is paying off quite well. Some enchants sell for hundreds of gold on the auction house, uh, well, a hundreds of gold in profit, and I craft pretty much anything profitable and just throw on the auction house. The last month I have made about 30,000 gold give or take from enchanting alone, which is about 1,000 gold per day. And really, the best tip I have here is just to research what is profitable on your server, and then use your logic and think about what sells and why it sells. One example here is to always have at least one of every profitable Wrath enchant on the auction house and maybe a couple extra for the best in slot enchants, especially on raid days when people obtain new gear pieces and therefore need new enchants. Now the last few months I've really switched stances from farming gold to trying to make more gold with less effort so I don't have to play 10 hours a day just to farm some gold and also using the gold I already have to make more gold, which is why my current gold making strategy is heavily based on professions and crafting profitable crafts. Personally, I only really use mining, alchemy, jewel crafting and enchanting as highlighted in this video, but there are tons of ways to make gold with other professions as well. And if you already have some gold and you're looking to use the gold you already have to make even more gold, do consider checking out my Phase 4 Investments video that I recently uploaded to this channel. And if you're looking for more ways to make gold in Wrath or simply just need more guidance, consider checking out my Wrath Classic Gold Guide through the link down below, which will teach you how to make as much gold as possible for the rest of the Wrath expansion. And because we're already in phase 3, it is currently on a big sale to compensate for us being in the middle of the expansion. If you're on the edge about getting the guide, I could tell you it's worth it, but my opinion is obviously very biased here, so here is some feedback that I've gotten from other people who has purchased the guide. Alternatively, it also has an average of 4.5 out of 5 star rating, based on 66 reviews with a 79% 5 star rating. But yeah, that is pretty much what I have for you today, just a quick video recapping my own gold making journey, what I'm doing to make gold, and I hope it was helpful, and more than anything, I do hope it helps you make more gold in wrath and put the power of compounding interest and passive gold making into perspective, as professions can be incredibly powerful gold making tools. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you again very soon.